Superpower. Yeah, that my ass was from Krypton. Improvements to the 2022 version, I'm sure. They did, but the sizing is a bit weird on them too. Like it, it for a regular one, it says, you know, uh, recommends for a, uh, a, uh, uh, to be 5'7 to 6'2 uh, with a, like a maximum of uh, 220. I'm not 6'2, but I definitely like pretty damn close to 220. So I feel attacked by that. <laughs> I feel your pain on that, Jim. <laughs> like when he, was, he was talking about 220 and I'm like, like, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> the last time I weighed myself, I was like 360 something. <laughs> so I, I mean, I got the XL chair for my fat ass, but it was totally worth it. That's the problem. Like when you're, when you're my size, chairs become temporary things because Mm. Eventually, your weight and the chair's structural integrity, they're locked in Mortal Kombat, you know, every time you sit down. And eventually, and more more often than not, your undefeated ass will win, and the chair will disintegrate over time. My ass is undefeated! Yes, my, my ass is undefeated, absolutely. Yeah. Add padding to the Crying seat. The corner. No, I mean, it's already got... This chair honestly has great padding and the memory foam is not cheap. That's the thing, it's like a lot of the chairs that I've had, like the, uh, the chair that I had before this, which was a Technisport, um, that one fell apart pretty easily because every time I got up out of the chair, and it wasn't like I was using the chair to brace, but the the arm on this side would would bend every time I got up to a point where it just, it just completely fell independent of the rest of the chair and so when i looked at the underside it was like this super thin metal bar that was holding it on and the bar essentially broke and the chair was supposedly rated up to 500 pounds so i felt when i spent the 300 plus dollars for it that i was making a like good you got investment a cheated, yeah yeah that i was making a good investment but apparently no it turns apparently out it was not. so i <laughs> but i mean not. I will say this, at least the support people over at Techni were, they were very apologetic about it and they said, yeah, it sounds like, um, and the other part was that the base of the chair tore. Now, I'm, I will admit I'm overweight. I, I know my BMI is 50 plus, whatever, you know, you know, I've had these discussions with my doctor. I did not know that my ass was so big I could tear steel apart. Like I didn't know that my Your butt, superpower. yeah, that my ass was from Krypton. Like I didn't understand the the sheer amount of yeah. And then yeah, Stapler actually came over and saw when I when I said when I say I tore the metal. It's not a joke. I think I've got a picture of the metal tear somewhere. Hold on, I'll I'll, I'll see if I can put it up on 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 chat, but uh, or screen here. But it was like, are you fucking kidding me? Because I think when Stapler <laughs> saw it, he was like, oh my, <laughs> like, that's not good. <laughs> now, Vaxxon, are you to host my that could be taken in so many different ways. Oh, dude, fill me up. That didn't help. <laughs> <laughs>